evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a day it has been for cryptocurrency. Why am I so pumped about this? Because tonight, or should I say, in the next 13 hours, we will know if Mr. Market Maker is going to be charitable or not. What do I mean? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you tuned into last night's live stream, which was labeled as Bitcoin's $1.9 billion problem, who will win? You will have a good understanding as to what to expect in the next 13 hours. Now, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I want to thank you all for passing through to the live streams. Most of the movements happen on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So listen, at the end of this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so that you can tune into the live streams. Why? Because I may speak at a thousand miles an hour and I talk into speculation and I do pump out as much information and try and get as much detail over to you. Because if there's someone that will com that can pick up on what I'm actually trying to say as price is moving, that one thing that they could take could end up turning them into a consistently profitable trader. Okay, All it is, ladies and gentlemen, is training your eyes to understand how it moves. Okay, There are so many things behind the scenes of trading that to the common person coming to the idea of trading he's not going to be aware of. You see, the average Joe's going to go onto Amazon. He's going to type in how to day trade for a living. Why on earth would you want to day trade for a living when you don't know how to day trade full stop? That's like trying to jump into full-time surgery, okay, and start cutting up people and replacing hearts and brains. What? <laughs> would you do that? No, you wouldn't. You'd probably go to medical school for the next seven years and try and understand it. Then you'd probably go into the field and work there for about a couple of years before you really are proficient at being a surgeon. Trading is exactly the same, ladies and gentlemen. This is a craft. All right. We manage people's expectations every single day, whether they are fearful, whether they are greedy. And in tonight's video, I'm going to try and help you guys understand how the business model works in relation to why the next 13 hours are critical for short traders in the options market. This will bring you into the understanding of how the game truly is. So, what has been happening today? Well, you could see from the live stream earlier on today that we were experiencing some interesting price action and Bitcoin needed to break above the 15-minute 800 EMA. And, as always, New York does the number. We see a stop hunt rise coming into the brink session and then they bring it all the way down, hit the reversal straight back up. They didn't break the structure, though. This is what I was saying about structures. For this move to the upside to be invalidated, Bitcoin would need to come all the way down and break this area right here, test last week's low and then try and make its way into these previous vector areas. Now, listen. 1.9 billion dollars worth of options will be expiring tomorrow morning 9 a.m uk time this is based on the information provided here from this article in and around um on coin telegraph stating that 29th of, of april 8 a.m that is when the options will expire now there are two price points that we must be aware of the first one and which we spoke about yesterday in this live stream is the 39k range so go to the 39 zone and have a look at where price is in relation to 39k happy days the next zone of importance okay is 41 quite specifically 41100 to be precise okay now, the reason why 41,100 is going to be important, ladies and gentlemen, because it says right here, where is it? I had the article, it mentions here about 41,500, 41,100, I'll show you. There's your boomer moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for a point in the actual article which says 41,000 and I'm looking at the small writing and it's right there in front of me. 41,000. But it's a 41,000 zone that we are looking for. I don't know where I read it, but listen. 41,000 is the key point in the chart, okay? So that 
the traders who are in 39k options okay favoring lower prices 41 would be the point of loss for them so 30 million so they've got a double whammy right here ladies and gentlemen look at how sad it is all right check this imagine you've got a short right now in bitcoin options and you're favoring price to close below 39k towards the expiration all right you watching price action today you've seen it drop to the downside happy days you're thinking yeah baby i'm gonna get paid then unfortunately bitcoin decides to then initiate a move to the upside you're probably thinking it's a fake move then they reverse it back down again you're getting hopeful and then you close your charts and you think, yeah, it's all going to be happy days for me to, for them to reverse it all the way back up again. As I said, Bitcoin only needs to go to 39,001 for those guys to lose that 350 million. If it finishes at 38,999 Bitcoin, they still make money. Now, the truth of the matter is this, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin right now is nowhere near 39,000. You see, if you're expecting 39,000 and you're in a situation where you're expecting to get paid from that point, 40,120 is a little bit far away. It's a thousand dollar move. We're going into the worst day of the week, Friday, which normally doesn't get any volatile until New York session. They've moved Bitcoin all the way up above the psychological high. This is what we were waiting for them to break on. Notice yesterday's price action, how they collapsed price to the downside and then shifted all the way back. We could anticipate that Bitcoin could make its way all the way up to 41,000. It needs to get up to this point to give them the loss of 30 million. And on top of that, they'll miss out on the 350 million in total. Now, that sounds like I'm against the retail trader. I'm for Mr. Market Maker. No. I'm always for the retail trader. But I need you as the retail trader to understand that whatever has caused this movement to happen, shaking Bitcoin to the downside, they came back and ate all those liquidation points that we saw earlier on today. They had them. And then they made their way all the way to the upside. And then they initiated a reversal back down to only trap the same traders in the same situation. $150 million worth of shorts were opened on the way back down because the same guys who believed that that was the time to go short because it was a fake move certainly, okay, paid the price. Mr. Market Maker, again, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't care about price. It's where you put your money is what he cares about. If that happens to be at 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, cool, he's sending money in that direction, ladies and gentlemen. Now listen, from now until Asia tonight, I will be very surprised if Bitcoin makes its way all the way down to hit those, those options contracts down there. This is what may happen. Coming into tomorrow, 9 a.m. UK time, which is 8 a.m. Universal. Where is it? Right here. UTC. 8 a.m. UTC, which is 9 a.m. UK time GMT. That is when the options are scheduled for expiry. So from now until then, let's look and see how likely is it Bitcoin's going to come and crawl all the way back down again. Where are the vectors? <laughs> There isn't any. Look, they've recovered every single. This is despicable, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Blue vector candle. They usually come and recover those. Correct. They recovered that wick, that, that blue vector candle, shifted up. Green vector candle. Recover that? Certainly did. Big wick. Recovered all of that? Happy days. They have pushed Bitcoin above the psychological ranges. Now, Bitcoin from now until later on tonight is likely to drift, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to drift up until that 9 a.m. 
tomorrow morning GMT. Whatever Bitcoin does after that is irrelevant. Why? Because there's a reason why they are holding price in this range. Because down here, ladies and gentlemen, is where the options expiry is. This is going to release $350 million worth of liquidity to the opposite trades that have been opened against the guys who place the puts. Okay? It's a sad day tomorrow if Bitcoin doesn't come back to the 39. Do I want it to come back to 39? No, I don't. Why? Because I want to show the proof of the idea of Mr. Market Maker. The fact that they've been moving price all the way up. They initiate a stop hunt low and then the reversal back up again. Everything is stacked to move Bitcoin back up into this range. Look where the liquidity resides up here, ladies and gentlemen. We still got some more room for that. There's still more room. Now, if Bitcoin does break above this section right here, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back to that good old glorious 800 EMA where we will ask the question again. Will Bitcoin break higher from this point? Loves that 800 EMA. How many times have we hit the 800 EMA since we've dropped down and crossed below it? Well, let's have a conversation. One. Two. Three. Could there be a possibility that this move is going to lead Bitcoin to that point where we would have to make a decision as to whether or not we take trades to favor higher price action? Or are they going to manipulate the range in the same way they did right here and bring it back down? Look at it from a market maker's perspective. Yeah, OK, if everything looks like it's going to be dropping to the downside soon, OK, and we're going to have this real bad, big, big drop in the marketplace. Well, if we're going to have that problem. I ain't going to give away $350 million worth of profit in options, okay? I'm going to make sure price moves higher. So I'm going to change the narrative. I'm going to make the futures markets believe that price is going to go higher. I'm going to encourage traders to start buying so I can sell into that at a premium because I've been placing my longs since price has been dropping from this point right here. And what do we see there? We see Mr. Market Maker presence. One, two, and three hits to the low. Happy days. Stop and rise, drop. Green candle, red candle formation, shift out. Red candle, blue candle formation, shift out. Yeah? What I'm trying to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, is the next 13 hours are going to be critical at proving and solidifying that Mr. Market Maker, yet again, doesn't care about price. He only cares about what liquidity resides at price. Now, listen, we've had a little bit of success today in some altcoins. ApeCoin seems to be smashing it. All right. Now, listen, ApeCoin has been undergoing a current vote, which previously failed. It was a preliminary discussion. OK. Now, listen, ApeCoin is making its way to form an all time, uh, all time highs continuously, but it's not really an all time high. Check this out. What do you think it's doing? It's recovering the wick, ladies and gentlemen. Ape is not at an all-time high yet. It's recovering the wick. Okay? Whenever we see this sort of behavior happening, ladies and gentlemen, be mindful that we could have a sharp retrace. Just be careful. Don't get into the hype of ApeCoin going mooning out. Be careful. They are being sold. People are being sold right now. The guys that are buying are the guys that have just downloaded Crypto.com and they've seen that ApeCoin is up. How much is it? Where is it? Where are my coins? Yeah. 20% is it? 20%. Yeah, 23%. What a joke that is. Absolute phenomenal movement for ApeCoin. Okay. Now, with that being said, it's only happening because Bitcoin's got the flavor coming in. And of course, there is this note of this understanding about a vote that is coming, a discussion about allowing a certain some something's happening behind the scenes with ApeCoin, basically. All right. Now, listen. Coming towards the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow is Friday. And Friday is notorious for doing one of two things. They're either going to contain price or they are going to run for profit. Asia tonight will show proof of that move. 
Okay? So, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's video. Quick heads up on understanding the relationship between whether 39k is going to be hit or if they're going to hold price in this area here. Okay? I've got something for you. So, I'm always saying to you to always watch the previous streams. All right? Any video that you watch in the channel, always watch the last video that has been uploaded. We wanted Bitcoin and we were testing the idea that they would try and come up towards this zone on the principle of them moving away from the 39k range. Go and watch last night's video. The box there will explain it to you. Mad love and respect, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Take care yourselves. Peace.